Hey, yo, this is Dash, and that's a GoPro. All right, we're gonna see if I can figure out how to show you guys exactly what I'm doing while I'm doing it. All right, so today, 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 I'm gonna be using Charlotte, and I have a few turkey legs that I managed to find on sale at the Giant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a, a light or a slight smoke on these turkey legs just because I'm missing the turkey legs from my Six Flags, my local Six Flags. So I would like for you guys to join me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the grill prepped and started, and you guys are gonna join me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. Okay, so today I have these three chicken legs. I just so happened to be in the supermarket this afternoon in the market in the Giant, and I saw these, and I said chicken legs. These are turkey legs. So what I would like to do is do some smoked turkey legs, and I'm just gonna do them out on Charlotte on the Weber. So we're gonna see how we can get these done. Now today I'm gonna be using this Tom's brand rosemary garlic seasoning blend. Now, I didn't do anything special to these turkey legs. I really just picked them up a few minutes ago from Giant. As you can see, there's, there's nothing special about them. Here's that rosemary tones, uh, rosemary garlic tones seasoning. And you can get this from Amazon or I found this in Sam's. So yeah, it smells great. Now you guys know me, I don't actually use the little pork sprouts. I just open up the big end. 
using this liberally. All over. This is turkey. So hopefully this rosemary seasoning does some justice to this turkey. I don't know, but it smells really good. All right, then I'm gonna basically roll these turkey legs in the seasoning to soak up some of those extra bits and pieces. I'm gonna wrap this up and we're gonna just wait for the fire to come up to temperature. Now you see, this is my, my clean hand, this is my dirty hand. So I'm being mindful of everything that I'm touching with my dirty hand my dirty gloved hand has been touching raw meat. So as soon as I finish getting it to this point, I'll hold this up and then I'm gonna take this glove off immediately and throw it away. So now that's done, let's go ahead back out to the grill once it comes up to temperature. All right, so I'm back out at Charlotte and my fire. It's looking good so far. I'm not going dilly dally. I'm going to get this set up quickly. I'm going to get this thing started. So I'm just going to arrange these like so. No particular real rhyme or reason. I do, here, since this one is peeling back a little bit, let's get some more seasoning up under there. thing I'm gonna do is get my meat thermometers or meat probes so conveniently this this ink burn thermometer was sent out by CJ from cooking with CJ if you don't know about CJ look him up Thursday nights he does a hot seat with CJ and uh, I was on it go back and watch my video but if you haven't seen him or seen it definitely recommend that you check it out thanks again CJ for sending this out to me uh, to use. Now I have three probes. This Inkbird thermometer in particular does has four probes. One of the probes I actually have on the grill here for the ambient air temperature in the grill and the others I'm obviously going to use for the temperature in the turkey legs. So I'm just gonna hold this down in here. it pretty much right next to the bone there all right we have one two and we have three move that one So you see our three temperatures here, 52 degrees, 50 degrees, and 52 degrees, respectively. And you're cooking. All right, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and back in the house now that I have the thermometer set up and my phone linked to it. So I'll see you guys back out here in a little while. I don't really know how long this is gonna take. I'm just gonna choke that off the halfway. And I'll also choke the intake off to halfway. Choke that off the halfway as well. And we'll just let it cook. I'm not really worried about flipping it over or doing anything special to it. Uh, these, these legs, I'm gonna take them to, let's take them to 175 degrees. We might flip them over. I'll check on them maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes. I'll see you guys back out here then. One hour later.
All right guys, so here are my turkey legs, hot and fast on the Weber kettle, using the slow ones here. Nothing real crazy, just found some bargain meat. Figured I would try it to see if we, if I like it. And by extension, might try to do something like this again, or if I'll try to do some sort of low and slow cooking. But let's see. We do actually have a little bit of a smoke ring on that turkey. I keep wanting to call it chicken. On the turkey. Smells good. It's not bad. Going into this, I knew that I should have added a little salt, but I didn't. I wanted to just see how the Turkey will react to the rosemary by itself. I have used this seasoning before. And it needs a little something. It needs a little salt. But very good nonetheless. So I'm going to take another piece of this. And I'm going to save some for the taste testers and the missus. You guys can try it. Tell me what you think if you want. Go smell this piece. It's not good, right? It needs more salt though. I I'm think. fine with I'm fine without. Really? Well, butter, baby. <laughs> and we will. I'll see you guys next time. So. Hmm. Like I said, it does need a little salt, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. So this was just a simple cook, more or less a proof of concept, because I wanted to see whether or not I could cook these turkey legs hot and fast, or if they had to be cooked like a low and slow and uh, smoke the turkey leg turkey legs. So thank you guys as always for watching this really wasn't much technique to this one i really just let it go until it hit temperature you guys saw i was out at the grill once the turkey legs hit 165 then i put them over top of the hot side of the grill um over top of the slow ones here just to get a little bit of, a bit of a crisp on these things then i let them sit out there for another few moments and then i pulled them and like i said i do actually have a little bit of a smoke ring because i did use that lump charcoal and I don't taste any sort of smoke flavor or anything like that, but I wasn't expecting to. And like I said, I didn't cook them directly over <clears throat> the coals for very long. So anyway, I'm gonna take one more bite and thank you guys again as always for watching. If you liked what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Speaking of live, I go live on Wednesday nights, every Wednesday night, almost every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern for, for two hours. First hour, we talk about something barbecue, barbecue related. Second hour, we usually talk about whatever, whatever it is. You have to be there to understand. You have to be there to, to get it, and you're invited. Anyway, thanks again as always, and I'll see you guys next time.